Joining us this morning is Dr. Colleen Fogarty with the University of Rochester Medical Center to touch a bit on cancer prevention tactics. Dr. Fogarty, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Amal. All right, so let's start here. Cancer is a life-altering experience that can, for some, feel imminent in a way, but before patients get to that point, there are actions that can be taken as prevention. And with February being National Cancer Prevention Month, it's a good time for some of those reminders. Absolutely. As you know, cancer isn't simply one disease, and there are many common things that everyone can do to prevent many different types of cancer. These are things that you've all heard of. Um, some smoke cigarettes. Um, quitting smoking is very healthy and important for cancer prevention and helping young people in your life avoid starting altogether. Keeping a healthy weight, also moving, moving your body, exercising regularly, staying active, eating a healthy diet, protecting your skin from the sun, and getting immunized for those um, things that can cause cancer, such as the human papillomavirus. And Dr. Fogarty, 40% of all cancers diagnosed and nearly half of all deaths from cancer in the U.S. can be attributed to preventable causes. Things like you mentioned, smoking, excess body weight, physical inactivity, or excess exposure to the sun. But why is it that still so many folks don't take preventative measures and why should they start? Well, sometimes it's hard to change our habits, and certainly it's never too late to start working on a change in habits. Um, working closely with your healthcare team, including any programs that your workplace may sponsor, can be a good way to take action to change any of the habits that we just talked about. Um, and seeing your physician or your healthcare team for periodic cancer screenings is also helpful. Um, with the COVID pandemic, some of those things have been um, postponed or there have been large waiting time. So encouraging people to get back with their health team now is a good plan. Of course. And are there any resources that URMC offers to help folks take those steps to prevent cancer? Yes, absolutely. Um, all the primary care teams, including the physicians, nurses, and other professionals, we work all the time to help guide patients in all of these areas. Additionally, the Center for Community Health and Prevention offers programs, including a cancer prevention program. And there are additional um, employer-based programs that, that are worth checking out based on where you work, as well as the New York State Quit Line, which is designed to help people who smoke with resources to enable them to quit. They have an excellent website and their toll-free number is 1-866-NY-QUITS. All very good notes. Dr. Fogarty, thank you so much for joining this morning and providing this very valuable insight. Thank you, Amal. Have a great day. You too. And for more information on cancer prevention and those mentioned resources, just head over to our website. That's rochesterfirst.com.